Good morning, evening, or afternoon, everybody. It's Kago coming at you with another video. So, today I just wanted to sort of go over getting all these quests here in Silithus and sort of doing them all and letting you know how much rep it yielded me. Um, some of these are going to be a lot harder than others, but to start off, you pretty much just have to come kill. A bunch of the animals that are out here in the world you need scorpions spiders and you actually do need the dread strikers if you have the cooking um, quest the next part uh, or actually no never mind sorry you do have to kill 15 of them and then as well as they do drop sandworm meat which is part of the cooking quest and it makes the 20 strength food which is actually really really awesome um, these things aren't that high of a level once you're um, if you're a 60 coming back here to do this, it's going to be super, super easy. But you just pretty much got to kill a lot of animals, get some drops to start it off with. Um, and that's what we're sort of doing here. Um, and then I do have to make, I do have to get 10 sandworm meat to make the dumplings for this quest. It will give me rep for the Scenarian Circle, which is the whole reason for doing these, as well as some other unique um, things that you can uh, um, get later on. So we're just going to sit here and we're going to be farming up a lot of uh, scorpions and stuff like that. So it should be pretty uh, pretty boring, honestly, but we might be able to get some stuff. And anything uh, that doesn't seem too self-explanatory um, or is difficult, I will definitely let you guys know. The Abyssal uh, Contacts and the uh, Dearest Natala Quest, those are 60 plus. Those actually seem like they might be pretty difficult. Um, but these entry level ones aren't going to be too hard from what I can tell. Um, but anyway guys, that's sort of it. Just wanted to give you sort of the rundown and really just sort of seeing what we get from doing all these quests and how long it has taken me. We're doing it pretty much at noon on a... Uh, medium to high pop server we're on scarum horde here so um, it is pvp so we'll count for deaths and just everything like that just sort of wanted to give you what doing all these quests and what we'll get from them will get us so you can decide if you want to do them or not or just farm twilight people or whatever you want to do that'll be up to you but anyway guys i will uh see you when we find more stuff of note and i will uh catch you then Whoop! Alrighty, guys so while I'm doing the encrypted twilight uh, text part of the quest um, you can come up to here over here um, and over here as well as down south um, there's just a lot of locations that you can do it uh, this is going to be heavily farmed this is probably the hardest part of it um, each kill gives you one rep but what they do drop are two things that you will need is there's a twilight mantle set which um, is pretty good to get um, you need the full set during this quest um, however these pieces are able to be sold as well as the encrypted twilight text are also able to be sold as you can see it's pinging these at three gold each um, this mantle is worth seven gold each um, just some awesome opportunities for gold this is day two so these prices are varying um, these texts are really great um, they're pretty easy to farm, honestly. Um, there's another piece of the Twilight Cultist stuff. Um, but yeah, these texts just drop off of them. That was the first guy that we've killed here that didn't drop it, actually, um, as of this patch. So, pretty nice. Um, I would just recommend coming here and farming it. It's going to be a great source of uh, gold as well because this quest is repeatable, the 10 texts. So once you get 10, you turn it in. You can just keep getting 10 more, 10 more, 10 more, which is great for rep. Um, I would recommend holding this off until you are at least honored because once you are honored, you have to climb back up um, all the way uh, by killing only... Um, there's one mob that you can kill specifically that only spawn... Uh, somewhere I forget exactly what it's called but just sort of uh, be aware I would recommend getting all the way to honored before you uh, end up selling or doing anything but anyway these guys are max level they're 58 260 so be careful these things do hurt um, so just wanted to let you guys know that sort of inform you everything about this part of the quest chain and uh, everything that you can do with it. Anyway, guys, I will catch you later. Whoop.
Alrighty, guys. So while you're out here in uh, the Twilight Highlands and or not Twilight Highlands, holy crap, uh, the Crystal Vale, and you're trying to get these Twilight um, tabs, you can kill the elementals to try to get them, or you can just simply go on the ground and pick up these glowing ones. Some people don't necessarily know that you can loot them just by picking up the uh, tablets on the ground, but it's super huge and can definitely help you uh, get these Silithus quests done a lot faster. I'd only kill the ones that are pretty much guarding them. These guys are great farms for um, Essence of Earth and uh, Elemental Earths as well as the Air ones are pretty good too, but just I would recommend just picking them up. It's so much faster. I killed about six of them and haven't gotten one from them and I am getting a bunch here um this guy is for quest i'm not exactly sure when we come here to talk to him but i do know that he is for part of this quest um in here so just want to let you guys know all that and i will see you when we finish the next parts Alrighty, guys Whoop. Alrighty, guys so we were able to finish up all the quests you know killing everything around here we got the twilight stuff the abyssal context is a different type of a uh, thing um it requires actually getting a full twilight cultist set and then clicking on one of the uh, lesser windstones to summon the thing and then we kill that thing um, It can be done with help, but um, it's also soluble it just takes a bit um, But after you do all this you can come back here turn in all these quests um, The first wave of them uh, will get you a lot of uh, Will get you some nice gold and a lot of uh, reputation as you can see, um, after you turn in the quests, you can also turn these in again. It gives you 100 rep every time you do it. Um, you don't even have to do the first one, really. You can do the uh, you can do the other ones after. But we're just turning in all these first wave of quests, and it looks like we're getting uh, a second wave with all of them as well. Um, some of them just sort of having us to go everywhere around the uh, place. But it's just sort of general questing, guys. We haven't seen too many that are difficult other than the... Um, other than getting all the Twilight stuff. And then we'll have to kill the Crushers, which are awesome to have that quest because they give a lot of stuff um, as well. So pretty much Wave 2 is just go out here and kill a bunch of stuff. Um... And yeah, so that's the quest line. We're going to sort of see how we can do this. And hopefully it'll be nice and easy, guys. Anyway, that's it for this. This We have the Wave 2 quests coming up now. Um, the Abyssal Crest will work on as well as some of the other wanted ones. They're just all down here. So I'd recommend doing, uh, waiting to do the questioning and the wanted one um, until you do those first four or five that we just did. But anyway, guys, we're going to go get after it. So I'll see you then. Voop. Alrighty, guys. So we were actually able to find someone who was looking for shoulders. We had two shoulders and they traded a cow. So what you do is you put on the whole set right here. Then you right click this and then you say, I summon you. And there we go. It's a level 60 elite. You can put your gear back on if you're quick enough. Um, and then it, they are soluble, but you do need to kite them and sort of uh, be smart about it because these things hit pretty hard. You know, as a mage, it's not too difficult. It can be slowed, so you pretty much just do that. Pop my cooldowns, and I obliterated it. So there we go. That's pretty much what you do. And there is an abyssal crest right there. It does consume your twilight pieces. So be very, very sure to put your stuff back on. But just like that, that is how you get an abyssal uh, crest. So you can go and up here and turn it in for some awesome stuff. And killing that thing does give you five reps. So that's pretty awesome as well. And holy crap, these things are selling for 129 gold. So that's kind of nuts. Um, but just wanted to let you know. And yeah, so we are going to head up here and turn these in and should be good. 
Anyway, just want to show you guys how to do that. All right, I'll see you later. Bye bye. Alrighty, guys. So we're up here turning in this, and it gives us a bag of spoils, which I'm not really sure what we're gonna see. But let's open this up and see what we get. So kind of crap. We got silver, some Altric Swiss, some Glory Dew, and a scroll of Intellect Four. Um, I'm not exactly sure what all those bags can have, but just sort of reporting on that and what we can do. Um, apparently, we can turn in three of them to do that. Um, but it did give us another 100 reputation with the Sonarian Circle, so this is actually pretty uh, nice. Um, but yeah, you just sort of have to keep fighting them. Look at that, people complimenting the sword. That's awesome. But anyway, guys, um, I just wanted to show you that, what that's for, and how we can sort of do that. And I'm glowing red now, which is pretty weird. But anyway, yeah, that's what it is. Um, it does look like those things are used later on for AQ stuff and some rings and more stuff like that. So I'll keep you posted on what you can do with all that. But anyway, guys, that's it. And we will keep uh, searching for these quests. So yeah, onward and upwards. See you later. Alrighty, guys, we've made it here to question these people. So we talk to them here. And you just sort of keep talking to them. It says we have to uh, kill them on my questy, so I'm not sure if we fight them or not. But we talked to that dude, then we talked to this guy, and it seems just like a nice, easy dialogue quest. Yeah, I guess questy was just showing me to fight them. But that's pretty much it, guys. You just come there, do that, kill them, and then you have this elite up here. That you can solo. Uh, let's see if this guy would like to do it with me. Perfect. Look at that. This guy would like to fight it. There's two of them and then there's one elite. So we can do it. I think should be pretty simple. I can nuke the ads. Can't imagine it'll be too difficult, but this is where the next part is to come up here and then fight uh, Death Class here. He's unwanted. Uh, you know, you might be able to. F okay, so we gotta kite the boss. Sounds good. So, pretty easy just being a mage. We're going to go Ice Armor just to kite it around like so. I don't think it'll be too difficult, really. Yeah, we're pretty much killing it already. Easy peasy. It's always fun with uh, friends and help, you know. I think I could have done that alone, but might as well use the help if it's there. So, got that pincer, and that's pretty much that elite quest. We still have some dredgers to kill. And then we also have to go to that cave there and talk to someone else. So pretty nice and easy quest. But yeah, we'll uh, let you know when we finish the other waves and sort of everything else we can do. All right. See you then, guys. Whoop. Alrighty, guys. So we made it here and we turned in all the every turn in that tablet. And then he has us go get these lexicon chapters. So these are got by killing um, some wandering twilight. Uh, masters the first one was over here in this area we already got that so it's not showing up on my uh, quest but then we can head over here and get th number three and then all the way up there um or all the way down here for chapter two um it's pretty much just a tour of all the twilight encampments really so what i'm going to do is kill this last uh drudge crusher um, here, maybe get some more sandworm meat, which is selling for so much right now. Like it's up to 240 gold as a or two gold and 40 uh, silver as of an hour and 34 minutes ago. So it's just really, really good. Um, honestly, not too many people grinding it out. So it's definitely a good way to uh, get some money right now. Uh, I think people were really only doing it for the quests yesterday, so that's why it sort of looked like there were tons of people farming it. But we're able to get that, and then that is that done. So I'm going to head up here, turn in these, get this other quest on the way there, and then head up north for the ring as well as south for the other chapter. So that's the plan.
Well, actually, I'm going to head south to get that chapter and then get that chapter turn in and then decide. And that is Emissary Ramakan. I'm not sure what he's for. I think he's for a quest, but he's a boss. And watch out for him because he will one-shot you pretty much instantly. So just be careful because he clapped me pretty freaking fast. I think we'll get to him here, but this chain is actually proven to be pretty long. Um, we started about 11, so it, we're almost two hours in now, and it's going pretty well. Just a lot of killing and grinding and sort of figuring out all this stuff, but should be pretty nice. Um, and we do have enough sandworm meat to do the uh, cooked dumplings, so we'll be able to finish that as well. So now we're headed over here to kill the mob, and we should be uh, nice and easy. So, alrighty, guys, I'll see you later. So these are what the uh, keepers look like, guys. Nothing too hard to kill. Just Twilight Keeper, uh, Exter. They're pretty much a normal level 60, so nothing uh, too bad to kill here, as you can see. Um, I am a geared raid geared mage so I, a lot of stuff that is easy to me could be difficult for other classes i uh, just wanted to keep you informed on that and we have more people just out here grinding farming these twilights which is pretty uh cool i suppose it's nice to see people actually uh capitalizing on this content and grinding it but there we have it that's chapter two and then we are going to head up here and get chapter three and then turn in all these quests and get the next round of them Anyway, guys, so we will go do that, and I will see when we get there. Voop. So, guys, as you can see here, uh, this is where you find the third one. Um, people have been farming them and killing them, which is no shocker to me. Um, I like to just sit out here and, uh, you know, kill things while I wait because these Geo Lords and stuff provide a lot of awesome uh, loot. And holy crap, that dude just almost killed me. What the heck? That was a close one, guys. Wow, we lived with 27 HP with the quick flame ward and mana shield. Woo! Yeah. Um, just be careful out here, guys. You can uh, you can definitely die pretty freaking easily. But that's all of those books. So we'll turn in these. Uh, maybe head up here, get that ring, or go back there and turn that in. To see what we get next. Not sure on the order, but. We will have the next phase of quest, and we're tracking our rep. We started about 1300, which I got from Lunar Stuff and doing the new Frontiers quest line. Um, I didn't record that, so I'm going to be doing that on my priest for you guys um, as soon as I can. Um, and yeah, it's going pretty nice. So we'll turn these in and let you know what's next. See you then. Whoop. Alrighty guys, so we were able to get the uh, nice strength food. It's actually surprising that the meat sells for more than the cooked food itself. A bit weird there, but we're turning in this quest. And it just gives you a 50 rep with Scenarian Circle. So if you're grinding the rep and you want that, that's pretty much what you can do right there. Turn that in and you don't have much other than that. The next phase of the quest, we'll have to turn in the lexicon. And then we have some quests down here for breaking the code and into the Maw of Madness and the fate of Mistress Natalia Maraloth. Um, yeah, so that should be fun. We're going to get the Signet Ring, uh, come back down here, turn that in, head there, get that, and then we'll make our way down there to get the Satchel as well. So definitely the after the second round of quests, we sort of start to get less and less. Um, our rep stands at um, about... 1200 thus far gained from doing all these so it's pretty uh, nice um, but yeah we're gonna head up here and uh, get some rep maybe kill some twilight stuff because this cave quest he's at the back of the cave I've sort of explored this before um, doing the sort of introductory video on uh, farming the rep before phase five um, but yeah we will now that this is out this is sort of a lot of information um, and going over everything that we've missed or seen or encountered. Um, but yeah, it's going a lot, a lot better. Anyway, we're here at this cave, so we're going to get back here and we will uh, kill this dude. He doesn't seem to be that far away. Shows him right over here to the right. Um, yeah, he's right over there. It looks like. Yeah, those are a bunch of overlords, so we can just jump down right here. That's weird. Looking kind of spooky down there. 
And then I'd imagine he spawns right here. If I had to take a guess. Um, this guy's probably farming the same guy. We'll ask him. Okay, perfect. So, nice and easy uh, kill. We'll just have to wait for him to spawn. Um, like I said, if you do this right now, I mean, it's April 16th that we're doing this on. So, we have just a lot um, of stuff up here um, that you can sort of farm out. So, we will uh, wait till he respawns, and I will see you guys then. Whoop. Alrighty guys, so we turned that in and it didn't really come out too much. You just pretty much kill them, turn it in, and you can get a neck or shoulders. But you do get 150 reps, so definitely worth going out there, doing that, killing them. Um, all these quests actually give you quite a bit of gold, honestly. Um, they're giving us anywhere between 2 to uh, 4 gold per completion. So that's actually really, really crazy. Um, but yeah, now we're headed over here for the Twilight Lexicon. Then we'll head there for those 60 plus uh, elite quests and sort of see what those require of us But it should be pretty uh, fun and exciting and yeah, we're making good time I'd say you know these quests just It's just a lot of running back and forth So make sure you have your writing set with you I'd say and just be patient because a lot of people are out here farming them So you're gonna be doing a lot of uh, a lot of competitions for farming but it hasn't been too bad i haven't had the only parts that were a bit much were the twilight camps and waiting there but you can definitely get one or two mobs per because they spawn pretty fast so anyway it's going pretty awesome and we should be friendly with the scenario circle pretty soon anyway guys we're arriving at this cave so we'll see what the next part of this quest is and i'll see you then Whoop! Alrighty, guys so that guy gave us two quests one to uh bring this up back to the commander at the camp as well as get 10 more encrypted twilight texts so just another one of those farming things and we're gonna head to the bronze beard encampment you actually can go around this mountain here so i think that might be quicker um we're gonna head there we're gonna get there we're gonna get the satchel that we got from one of the other quests um and then we will see what these into the maw of madness quest star which should be pretty fun as well so we will uh, head up here and see what all we can uh, get so i will see you guys once we arrive there and get those quests done and yeah should be a blast so see you then Woo. all right guys so this elite spawns here as we have already been here those before but we grab the satchel right there and you're all good to uh bring them back and turn it in we actually have gotten uh some quests here which um are a bit much but we have to get some hive brains from each of these things and then go in as well and get the um rubbings off of each hive um so yeah i believe the fate of this person is uh inside of here but i believe we have to do these quests before they tell us exactly what we should do but you do get an awesome staff here that's worth quite a lot it can disenchant into um three essences which is pretty awesome as well as a pretty good staff if you don't have anything else uh 26 um, magic hammer damage and 10 and so just something to let you know and these bugs are 60 elites so they're quite difficult so just giving you a heads up on those and yeah, we're going to see what we can do. I'm going to see if we can get a group here and if anyone wants to help and whatnot. So anyway, I will uh, see you then, guys. Voop. So if you are farming these um, mobs here, I'd recommend um, looking for the Spitfires if you're doing this solo. Um, but you can kill anything else. If they're higher than 61, they can drop plus 4 stats. So, or higher than 60. So 61, 62, 63s. They can drop that here. So, I only have a confirmed drop from a hive lord. I have not personally got it myself, but have seen that. But as a mage, you can pretty much just kite them. Don't let them hit you. That will be uh pretty bad. But pretty much just standard kite and uh kill tactics. Uh, mana barrier helps, but I pretty much have to kill one and then start drinking if I'm rocking full PvE gear. Um, 
but they are soluble. They actually are skinnable too. So if you're a skinner, these are huge uh, for the war event and making uh, stuff with the recipes. Um, and yeah, so just wanted to keep you all posted on that, where we're at and sort of how getting this stuff is going. Um, but once you're in each hive, the glyphed crystals, um, I believe they're just sort of floating crystals that you use this on, um, and I think they're deep within the hives themselves, I'm not sure. Um, the slave makers actually MC you, so I don't know if they do with multiple people or not, so they're not too bad to kill, um, but just keep an eye out for that, and once again, just don't let them hit you, and you should do more than fine if you're a mage or a warlock or some every class can pretty much solo everything so it's kind of up to you with what you're doing um but they are interruptible like he was going to do vol volatile infection there i was able to interrupt that so we're looking for the hive regal silted brain and we might be able to get it might not the ambushers are the hardest ones they're stealth and they just pop out and they hurt a lot so just be weary of those um but that's sort of the report and we will look to see if we can find a crystal to uh scan for the glyph thing if you do end up doing it solo i've been asking no one else wants to do these right now so we'll just have to see and anyway guys i will uh, let you know at the end how many kills how long it took and all that so i'll see you then Voop. So guys, we're here at the Hive Regal uh, inner cave, and the Glyphed Crystal is right here, and this is what we're going to have to rub, but we also have found the Elite. She's a 62 humanoid, so she can be a bit much. Um, we have three people here, so we might be able to kill her. I would not recommend soloing her. I do know she mind controls as well, so I believe we are going to start uh, fighting her, and hopefully we can uh, kill her. We'll just have to see, but it looks like she's fearing and a lot of other stuff. But with three geared uh, people, it's looking pretty easy. Yeah, so that's pretty much what we're killing. We're killing her right here for Into the Maw to get that awesome staff, as well as some nice reputation. So she's almost dead, it's looking like. She's pretty much been permanently slowed, which is pretty good. And there we go. So she's dead. She's 62 elite. And then we can get the glyphed crystal right here. So there's the device. We got the rubbing. Easy peasy. Now we can uh, continue to kill these for the brain or uh, keep going. Either or. But pretty simple quest right there. Alrighty guys. So that's pretty much it. Hopefully these guys stick around and we can kill them and get the brain as we go. But we'll just have to see. But anyway guys. Um, yeah, that's it. So I'll catch you later. Whoop. Alrighty, guys. So we've come back to the town. Uh, we did get the Hive Regal brain and the crystal rubbing from there. We still have the other two hives to do. Uh, personally, I'm going to take Mongoose because they sell for much more here. Um, that's another quest done. Gives us 100 more rep, which is pretty nice. Um, and then we're just going to come over here. Uh, we have a terrible purpose as well as into the mall to turn in here at this guy so hopefully these uh yield some more rep and more quests um it's a terrible purpose to not he gives us that staff that's three and more rep and bam we are friendly which is quite awesome um and then this guy has a quest called uh oriole gold leaf from wild main so we're gonna come over here and grab this quest um, and we just have to talk to them at the hold, so they're just over here. So, maybe we'll see more stuff with that. Um, but this is continuing the quest chain. We're actually going to DE this. Hopefully we can get some Eternals. There we go. Three great Eternal Essences. That's huge. So, on top of all the stuff that you get, as well as, uh, sort of money and all that, you, um can get a lot of greens and stuff to DE from quests. So this person wants one large brilliant shard and that to uh, summon another one. So this is the uh, addition to the boss. So pretty much we have to do what we did for the first step three times and then um, have one large brilliant shard to get a Duke of the Council, which I'm not sure if these are soluble or not, 
we'll just sort of have to look into that and see. But that's uh, pretty much that. And we do have to go farm some more texts as well as these hive stuff. But something I want to check now that we are friendly is to 100% confirm the recipes for Phase 5 are not in the game. She sells tailoring stuff. Um, and it requires friendly to do it. She does not have them. So that's good to know. I'm glad Blizzard didn't do that because um, if they did it, uh, they would uh, definitely create kind of like a leap forward so i'm really glad that they did not do that thus far but anyway guys that's it for that quest chain um and we are going to now head over here get these last silithid uh brains and hive stuff and uh, see where this quest ends and yeah we got over uh 2k rep now so definitely worth it if you're trying to get friendly or higher with the scenario circle as well as if you're just leveling. So we'll finish these up and I'll let you know at the end. See you then, guys. Whoop. Alrighty, guys. So we're here at Hive Zora. The glyph is going to be in through this cave. Um, the Way Watchers seem to be pretty easy. These sisters, however, they spit really fast and do a lot of damage. Um, I almost died fighting it. Um, definitely a lot harder than the other hive because they just spit quicker and quicker, it looks like. But if you can interrupt them, they don't really do anything after that i think no never mind you can't interrupt it so it's kind of just a dps race for you um and it looks like we might lose this all right we had to use some health pot there and he resisted that ah oh my gosh Whew. yeah these i would try to avoid these sisters as much as you possibly can because they are a pain in the but, but uh, we should be able to get through there and be able to uh, do the glyph. That dude was doing it with me, so it was pretty nice to see that. So we're going quickly, and we should be able to make it in through here and uh, get that next part. So super nice of him to tell me that it was clear, and I guess that he was able to clear it. Um, he was actually helping us with the other one. He just went on his way because he had the brain, and I did not yet. So, anyway, we're headed through here. We should be able to find this glyph. I'd imagine it's kind of like the other caves, nice and symmetrical, and shouldn't be too difficult. Yeah, it's looking like it's going to be up through here, which is pretty uh, nice for us. I Actually, wow, he actually killed a lot of them. But there is the glyphed crystal, so we can come in here and use that. Oh, these aren't elite. That's why he's able to kill them. But then we use the device, and that is the hive zora rubbing. I'm going to kill these wasps because they can drop the brain too. So it should be pretty uh, nice and easy. Um, I'd recommend killing these just because they're not elite. Because um, the elites are pretty hard to solo. And then we'll head to the last kite, uh, hive after this. It'll be up there at the hive uh, ashi. And it should be pretty good. So I will see you guys when we get there. Whoop. Alrighty, guys. So while we've been here farming these uh, Hive Zora wasps for a while trying to get it, we actually got a letter to go to Bronzebeard's uh, encampment. So that's actually really, really cool. And we will uh, take that down there once we complete these uh, glyph scrapings as well as the Hive Brain. So it should be pretty awesome, guys. So I'll see you when we get there. Whoop. Alrighty guys, so we're at the last hive here, uh, Hive Ashani. It's going to be over in this uh, bottom right corner. You go to the bottom of that, you're going to have to kill a few things, but then you can just head right down here, and that is the glyphed crystal that you can get. Um, these mobs are actually pretty easy, you know, the Swarmers, Defenders, they just pretty much attack you. Um, the defenders do disarm if they get to you, so if you are in melee, be advised. Um, but I really haven't had too much trouble killing them, really. Um, they are elites, so like, sort of doing what I'm doing right here, not the best tactic, but, you know, they are able to be kited pretty decently. Just be careful in here, and I would recommend pulling one at a time as you go here. I've had to pull and kill. There are stealth ones, so... Be advised with those as well um they're like the other stealth ones at uh, hive regal so just sort of be 
uh, weary of that and kite them to the best of your ability. But there's the last rubbing right there. We might actually be able to just walk up there and get it. And then we just need um, one more brain from these guys, and we should be easy peasy ready to go. So I'm excited, and we're going to get that done, and I will see you guys after we're finished. Alrighty. Whoop. Alrighty, guys. So after grinding away for an additional, like, 45 minutes, we were able to get the text. So now we can go to that quest over there, and then we have three more to turn in down at the Bronzebeard camp. So after we finish those, um, we'll have to see what's next. But I think we're nearing the end here, and we've gotten quite a bit of rep. Um, we've gotten some twilight pieces as well as a lot of the text so everything's looking really really good and I hope that we'll be able to sort of help everyone uh, get all these quests done now I will say with the Dukes of the Council and continuing that with the Abyssal uh, crests we're going to uh, make that its own video because it is quite complicated in the sense of sort of explaining it all what it means how you summon a specific one and Essentially, you're gonna get dukes. Um, there's the abyssals, which are the first tier. There are the dukes, which are the next tier, and then there are the royals. So, in order to do that, you're gonna have to do tons of farming, get a lot of twilight sets, put them on, consume them, etc. Which, if you want to farm for that, they do have some really good uh, epic pieces, like a 22 spell power ring, as well as a um, healing neck with MP5 on it. So, just some really cool pieces that you can look out for and try to uh, get. But, just wanted to let you know that um, we'll finish the Dukes in another video, sort of walking through and explaining how to fight them all and what you can get from them. Alrighty guys, now we're almost at this cave, so we'll see if there's a next quest and what that might be. Um, and I will see you then. Whoop! So it looks like this dude just takes your stuff, your that, and gives you 3 gold and 84 silver for the encoded messages and he does not give you reputation so um, honestly you don't even have to do that quest but you can do it once just to complete it completely up to you um, and now we're going to head to the bronze beard encampment so just wanted to let you know that and hopefully uh, you guys don't come over here and do that quest because uh, there's really no reason to from what I can see um, it just really gives you some gold, but you can sell these on the auction house for much, much more. So we're headed down here to do, um, these bronze beard, which is the lost letter and those two codes. So hopefully that'll be awesome and we can continue, uh, finishing up Silithus here and whatever that may entail. So anyway, guys, I will see you when we get down to the campment. Whoop! Alrighty guys, so we were able to turn in those quests. Um, we got a mining pick here that uh, I don't really know what it's used for. It's strength and a main hand axe, so pretty decent. But we're going to DE that, hopefully get some greater Eternals. It is a weapon, so high chance for that. Unfortunately, we got more Illusion Dust. Can't do uh, much about that, unfortunately. However, we did get a quest to unravel this mystery, which has us go to the Geologist all the way over here um, it should be pretty uh, easy it's just talk to him and we'll see what the final uh, part of this quest line is and yeah pretty much we've done them all honestly other than the Dukes and this mystery so it was pretty nice we also been making a lot of gold um, from turning in all these quests I just keep spending it on enchants and stuff and bloodvine pieces and all that so yeah but anyway we're gonna head there and I'll let you know at the end see you then Whoop. Alrighty guys, so this final quest here that we got leads to um, coming here and it's a 60 raid quest and I know it summons a raid boss who, uh, you know, kind of hit us hard earlier. So we have to come here and we have to draw this on the bones of this dragon right here and that will indeed summon the boss to fight and get this item from. It is a really tough quest so we're going to be making a raid group here shortly and hopefully we can... Uh, get people to uh kill it and find out what we can get but anyway that's what we're gonna do um and it's pretty much the last quest we have here so that's actually really really awesome so we're gonna do that and i'll let you know where we come out at Alrighty, guys see you then Alrighty, guys so we got a group of 15 people here we're fighting these bugs there's three of them uh we were lucky enough to get three warriors to sort of tank it and some healers um i'm pretty sure the boss spawns after we kill these guys so 
We were able to kill Skull right there. Now we have to kill X. Um, we're doing this with 15 people at the moment. Um, we'll have more, I think, on the way for the big guy. But it should be uh, a doozy. Everyone's tanking up these guys nice and easy. Um, they're not too difficult. Just be ready for them before you uh, start this up. So then you have to kill these. And then we have the um, last big guy which will be a big dog sort of looking thing um it's pretty simple honestly um i'd recommend tanking them away from the bones just because the bones cause a lot of problems with it but these things are big um if you have heals and tanks it should be pretty simple um they don't do that much it seems like um but we're able to uh Get this down, so that's pretty uh, simple here. Uh, yeah, I believe that the other guy will spawn shortly after we kill them. There we go, there's the emissary. So that is the first part, and now emissary um, Romacon is who we will fight next. And he will be right up here on the map. So. So now we're getting our man in, getting ready, guys. So I'll let you know when we get there. So I'll see you then. Alrighty, guys. So we're farming this guy, fighting him, and we're uh, going after it. So it should be uh, pretty interesting. Got to let these tanks get the threat a little bit. Um, when he gets max mana, he does end up one-shotting everyone. So that's a doozy. Um, but yeah, we do have... Uh, Viper Sting on it, which is, you know, kind of hurting him a lot. And then he does do this mass AoE that hits everyone, so just something to be aware of. But we got 19 people in here, so we're doing a really nice job of killing him. Um, I think we should have him. Uh, keeping his mana down has really been huge, and then just everyone else healing us up and stuff. But that AoE stomp does a lot of damage. Oh, he got totally. We got one tank down. Uh oh, Hunter pulled aggro. Fain death! Ha! Ah. Uh oh. Alright, alright. Tank retook it. But it's kind of just a tank and spank, really. Alrighty, and there we have it, guys. That's the boss. Concluding this quest chain, you get the crystal unlocking mechanism, which is huge. Um, and now we'll head to the hold. Oh, got to port these guys real quick. Alrighty, I'll let you know when we get to the hold and everything that we can do. So I will see you then. <gasps> Whoop. Alrighty, guys. So we turn in that quest and accepted the other one. Pretty awesome. But we were able to get some... Oh, some sandworm skin gloves, which give us 27 spell power. Really awesome reward for that. And then we get some scenarian reservist pants 25 nature resist and 15 spell power so pretty good rewards all around but these gloves are actually better than the ones i'm using right now so pretty cool and then she has a really really long uh a really really long um rp dialogue that we had to listen to before we could turn it in but it was pretty awesome, and we got it done, so that was really cool. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's the conclusion of it. Um, the RP thing was um, about 20 minutes long, so it wasn't 20 minutes. That's a bit of exaggeration, but it was at least five, just sort of going over the history of Silithus, so really cool. This video is already long enough, so thank you all so much, and that's all the quests you can do in Silithus. We started it at about 1300 into neutral and we are at 862 into uh friendly so just really awesome great way to get some ref without really doing much um other than just some nice easy quests and if you're not max level you can do that and who knows you might get some awesome gear like uh i just did so anyway guys that's it and i hope you have a great day and enjoyed this video Bye bye
If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so, so much for watching. It truly means a lot to me. If you happen to find anyone that you know would also benefit from watching this video, please, please, please share it with them. It helps me out a ton and allows me to keep doing what I love every single day, and that is gaming and sort of helping people any way that I can. So finally, thank you so much, and I hope you have a fantastic day. Goodbye.